meet the family known as the real McCoys. This was one of the top-rated TV shows in the late 50s and early 60s, and it's what Kathleen Nolan's best remembered for. But she did so much after that and so much before. In her 20s, she had already spent her entire life in show business, a career that started on a showboat on the St. Louis Riverfront. She was just 13 months old when she made her first appearance in 1934 on stage at the Goldenrod Showboat, where her parents were regular players. And throughout her childhood and teenage years, she would continue to perform. Her career would continue for decades on stage, screen, television. Her last film credit was in 2017. <laughs> but how much of that St. Louis girl who worked on the Goldenrod is still part of who you are today? I think a lot. <laughs> I think very much so, yeah. I'm still the, the kid from St. Louis. She is now retired, living in Los Angeles, and turned 90 last September. She started life as Joycelyn Shrum. The Shrums were a local show business family performing in plays and tent shows and regularly in the melodramas staged on the Goldenrod Showboat, which only recently had stopped traveling the rivers and was permanently docked on the St. Louis Riverfront. We didn't live close to the boat at that time, uh, so we took a bus and then you walked uh, on the levee down to the boat. Uh, for a period of time, we lived on the boat, but most of the time we didn't. Every week or so, they had to learn a new show, a new script. It was a good foundation for me. So I, I ran across this article in, from 1947. I don't know if you remember this or not. It said, Joycelyn Shrum, at 13, is as much the trooper as her dad, Sam Shrum, veteran of stock and showboats, including the Goldenrod. The story was she stepped on a needle in the dressing room, took part of it out, and hobbled through the show. Then a doctor took out the rest, gave her a tetanus shot, and she hobbled through the second show. I do remember that. I'm still doing it. <laughs> uh, it, it was, I guess, the beginning and, and the... Uh, uh, the lessons that I learned there, I still apply today. The 1950 census has the Shrums living on Delmar and lists 16-year-old Joycelyn as working 30 hours a week as an actress on a showboat. And she was still going to school during the day. I did my, I did my lessons in the dressing room. After graduating from Southwest High School, she was off to New York, changed her name to Kathleen, sometimes Kathy Nolan, and started getting work. I did a series called Jamie with Brandon DeWilda and uh, Polly Rose, Ernest Truex. I was very lucky because when I left and went to New York, it was really the beginning of, it was mostly live television then. Studio One, Playhouse 90, all those early shows that, that were mostly out of New York. It was good times. So I, you had to have some kind of a theater background, I think, early on. She was back in the theater in 1954 on Broadway playing Wendy in the musical Peter Pan, starring Mary Martin. I got a and she was part of the historic live television broadcasts of the play in 1955 and again in 1956. There was a third live broadcast, but by then, Kathleen Nolan had another job. She was on Thursday Night TV as a young wife, Kate McCoy, in the popular sitcom The Real McCoys with Richard Crenna and Walter Brennan. Yeah, it was in the top ten for five years, so we did very well. <sighs> Oh, what did Grandpa say about the lights in the hen house? It stayed on for years in reruns, and to this day, at age 90, Kathleen Nolan is still getting fan letters every day, many from old fans of the real McCoys, even though she did so much more after that. There was a short-lived comedy series broadside about World War II-era nurses in the South Pacific. Yes? Mrs. Hartman? Yes? Uh, my name is Jim Rockford. Is my... In fact... She appeared in hundreds of TV shows in the coming years, made some movies, did some plays. And in 1975, 
Kathleen Nolan was elected the first woman president of the Screen Actors Guild and served two terms. Not surprising when you hear the story about how back on the Goldenrod Shoba, at age six, she felt underpaid compared to the adult actors, and one night marched in to see the captain. Yes, I did, Captain Bill. I thought that it was unfair for me to get 50 cents a night and I think they were getting 250 or something at the time. So I got a raise for everybody. <laughs> I guess maybe that was the beginning of me being a union organizer <laughs> later in life. Yeah. And I read an article about you and they called you the firebrand union leader. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I think I was. And still is. Her son, actor Spencer Garrett, brought her to the SAG after a picket line last summer, and she led strikers in an old union song. I am a union woman, as brave as I can be. I stand up for fair wages and for equality. All right. Here's my kid. As we were wrapping up, Spencer Garrett joined the conversation. He's currently shooting an upcoming Netflix series and the night before appeared on an episode of ABC's Station 19. He was on last night. He was terrible. I, I, I played it. No, I really walked in the door. She said, you were terrible last night. I was like, oh, no, I didn't do a good job. No. I played I played a horrible person, which I it seems to be my stock and trade. I play a lot of bad guys. No, you don't. Yeah, when do. asked about her proudest achievement, well, that's him. And he's just as proud of her. He'd like to see her get a star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. I mean, you you covered sort of an early part of her career in the 50s and 60s, but her her union activism in the 70s and uh, her stuff, the stuff she did with human rights and uh, in the Equal Rights Amendment. I mean, you know, in the 70s and 80s, as she moved into, you know, went from being a working actor and a mom also to being... Uh, you know, a very, very staunch defender of, uh, you know, of great liberal causes. Spencer Garrett was born into show business just as Kathleen Nolan was. It's a story today that is set in Hollywood, but with roots that stretch back to a showboat on the St. Louis Riverfront. I, I have all fond memories of growing up in St. Louis. It's kind of still my, my place, you know. I still have friends there. I'm, it's very much my home. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kircher.